Blues music has had a huge impact on American English. And as you dig into the blues, you'll hear words like Doni. If a woman's carrying, you know, heavy baskets on her head, she's doing manual labor. And then you have the phrase, no good Doni, means a woman who doesn't want anything to do with manual labor. And that's what Robert Johnson's saying when he says she's a no good Doni. She's trying to meet every downtown man she can. She's looking for a sugar daddy, basically. These are things that enrich American English tremendously and they come from the blues. You can trace some of them back to Africa. And I think the one that was most resonant for me was the word cool. Because I was asking myself, well, why do we say that that guitar solo was cool? Or why do we say that that, that musician has soul and that one doesn't? You know, why is this person cool and this is not cool? So I did some digging and I found that there was a Yoruba word, itutu, that means coolness. But it's specifically used to describe a piece of art that is considered to be connected to divinity, or a person who represents that state of being connected. exactly why the blues are called the blues, but there are some theories, and one is that uh, it stems from the term the blue devils, which was an 18th century English term for the DTs that alcoholics would experience, delirium tremens, you see the blue devils, um, and we, there is this, this connection between blue and drunk, if you, if you look into, we have blue laws, you know, you can't have liquor, you can't sell liquor on Sundays in certain states, those are called blue laws. So in, for white Americans, blue and drunk were very connect, connected, the two words. Uh, for African Americans, there was a Saturday night dance called the slow drag, where people would be very plastered together and kind of grinding and dancing slowly. And another nickname for that dance was the blues. So there was usually somebody accompanying the dancers, typically a guitar player, and he would be stomping on the wooden floor, stomping out a beat while the dancers were dancing. So it's not hard to understand that there may have been a leap to, from the name of the dance, the blues, to the music that was being played to accompany it, starting to call it the blues. So that's another theory about the origins of the name, the blues. Is anyone...